welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, now you know. And guys, today I have a very exciting video because we are going to be taking a look at the brand new ColourPop X Disney collaboration look. Like, hello? So yes, you guys, if you did not know, ColourPop, the amazing uh, makeup brand, has collaborated with none other than freaking Disney. Like when I realized that, like I, my, my mind was blown. Like it wrinkled my brain. I, I was like so shocked. Would not like the fact that ColourPop wouldn't do that, but like that's a big deal. That's a really big deal, you guys. I'm so excited. Um, I did pick up the palette and one of the Lux lipsticks. I've never used one of these lipsticks before, so I'm very excited. But let's go ahead and jump into it, you guys. If you want to see a look using the brand new ColourPop X Disney collaboration, then keep on watching. <laughs> So first thing is first, um, I don't know what happened to the packaging because like it's like dented, can you see that? It came this way and then like right here my post guide must just not care at all. Here is the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick, this is the Tiana option or variant I guess if you will. They have six of them, they have, they have uh, Tiana, Belle, Jasmine, Cinderella, Snow White. I think that's it. An Ariel. They have all of them. And it's so cute. Like, look at this packaging. Look how pretty that is. And then here is what the actual packaging looks like. It's so cute. And then it has, like, the little... All of their signatures. And then when you open it, here is the color. The color is so pretty. It's kind of like a very deep burgundy. So let me swatch it really quick for you just so you can see. And I've never used the formula. Ooh, that's nice. I've already swatched it once. <laughs> I swatched it right here yesterday when I first got it. But here is what it looks like. It's so nice and rich. Um, it's very, very deep. So definitely a very awesome shade for fall slash winter. So that's the lipstick we're going to be trying on. And then I have the palette. And here is what it looks like. So Flippin' beautiful. Again, it's got all of their signatures on it. Oh my gosh. Look! This is some of the prettiest packaging that I've ever seen in a eyeshadow palette at all. Like, period. Like, this is stunning. And it's called, it's a princess thing and it has all of the shades back here. I don't know why the camera is focusing on my hand. And it's just so pretty. I love this. And then the Disney princesses right here, they're not like your storybook movie princesses. They're like designers. So they're like Vogue. Uh, and they're dressed up in these really nice gowns. And like, it's just so, so, so pretty. And then when you open it up, here are all the shades. Uh, it's got all of the princess's signatures up here. Now, it does not have a mirror, as you can probably tell, which I know is a bummer, um, but it's okay for this to be what it is. Like, this was $20, and for them to be in collaboration with Disney, like, I'm shocked that it's 20 bucks because a lot of... The majority of Disney things are so, so expensive. So for ColourPop to be collaborating with Disney and still be able to keep the ColourPop price, that's like, that's amazing. That's something else. So the fact that it doesn't have a mirror is not the end of the world. But let me actually zoom in up on these shades just so you can see what they all look like. And here are what all of the shades look like. I am really sorry if my light is kind of reflecting off of the gold foil on here. I don't mean for it to. It just kind of happens. But it's so pretty. I love this one right here and this one. We're gonna get into it you guys. I'm gonna do a few swatches for you. I have already swatched all of these. Um, I did it yesterday because I got this palette yesterday as I'm filming this. Today is the 2nd of October and I got it on the 1st. So I have already swatched them. I want to make that very, you know, clear to you guys, but I have not used it on the eyes yet. So here is the first row and you can't even see chip up here. There's one right up here, but it's so, it's basically the same color as my skin, so you can't see it. And then going down, we have Juju, Grumpy, Triton and Abu. So these are some awesome matte shades. And here is the second row. This is when you're getting into the more shimmer shades. This one is Prince Charming, Ray, Fairy Godmother, 
One Kiss and Thingamabob. These are so pretty. I love this one and I love this one. And then here is the very last row starting up here. You have Enchanted Rose, Poisoned Apple, Magic Carpet, Beast, and Midnight curfew so these are so pretty beast was kind of i think the least pigmented out of all of those this one is wild i'm not really a fan of sparkly black colors but if it works really well then why not <laughs> so you guys those are all the swatches let's go ahead and just jump into a quick eye look all right i've got you zoomed in so the first shade we're gonna go into is chip right here we're going to go into that one first and we are going to put that basically all over the eye uh, just as a base next i'm going to take a smaller fluffy brush and i'm going to take the morphe m518 brush and we're going to go into the shade grumpy right here this really really pretty light brown shade we're going to go into that and we're going to put that in the crease And it is blending really nicely that I'm finding. It's not, you know, um, being super hard to blend or anything like that. And the color payoff is really good. And then just keep buffing and blending that out just like that. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the shade. Let's go into Triton right here. This is the one right beside Grumpy. It's a smidgen darker. We're going to go into that one right here. And then just go a tiny bit lower on the crease. And then just deepen it up ever so slightly. Now this palette does have a little bit of kick up but it's definitely not bad at all. It just has like, it's actually not even that bad. It's not that bad at all. So kind of just disregard that I said that. <laughs> they are getting along well and they, they look good together so that's great. Next what we're going to do is I'm actually going to take Abu. It's basically we're using these three browns right here. I'm going to take the Abu right here. It is the last shade next to Triton. And it's that darkest brown so far. And we're going to take that. I'm going to take it on. Where's my brush? Here it is. This is a Morphe M506 brush. And we're just going to concentrate that on the outer edge, like the outer V. Just to darken everything up just a little. And you can bring it into the crease just a tiny bit just to give the crease a little more dimension. Next, I'm actually going to take the shade Ray, this really, really pretty champagne shade right here. And we're going to take that on a... This is an Alimar kind of like packing brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of my Smashbox primer water. Give that a little spray. Here's the primer water if you haven't seen it before. Really good stuff. And then I'm going to take the Ray shade and we're going to put that on the lid. But I'm going to focus it on the inner portion just to put the light color right in this, like in the, what? In the inner corner. Or kind of like bring it into the middle just so we can have some brightness go on. And then what I'm going to do after that, I'm going to take the shade Enchanted Rose. You know I was going to go there. This really gorgeous kind of like burgundy red shade. It's not super red, but it's kind of like a burgundy. We're going to take that same brush and we are going to put that on the outer part of the eye. So we have the light in the inner and we're going to put the other in the outer. And then it's kind of blended in to the lighter color. And so that's basically all we're going to do on the actual eyelid. So we're going to go to the lower lash line. And for that we're going to use this. This is a Morphe M508 brush and we're going to go into the shade Abu again. And then just kind of run that under the lower lash line just like this. And then to kind of smoke that out, I'm going to take the Morphe M506 again, this little fluffy brush right here, and I'm going to go into Triton again and just kind of use it to blend it out. And there you go. I just kind of smoked it out just a little bit right there. And that's pretty much all we're going to do with the eyes, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and apply my liner, lashes, and all that good stuff. And I will come back and see you for lipstick. 
Alrighty, you guys, I'm back as you can see, and I went ahead and did my liner, lashes, other eye, and my lips off camera. Like, you guys, this lipstick is so, so nice. Let me actually show you the entire packaging. So I know I showed you this part earlier, and I got the Tiana uh, shade, which I am obsessed with. And here is what the actual little component looks like. I don't remember if I showed this to you. I think I may have. Oh, I did. I remember showing it to you in like the shade. But guys, it just it goes on so nicely. It's very, very smooth. I've never used um, the Lux lipsticks from ColourPop before, so it is really different. But I like it a lot. Normally, I'm a, like a um, a matte <laughs> liquid lip type of girl, but I'm really trying to get you know more into different types of lipsticks and stuff like that. So this one is really good. I would highly recommend it. But yeah, the palette in general, you guys, this thing was so awesome. Like it was really easy to blend. It worked so well. Uh, let me actually zoom you in a little bit so you can take a full once over of the look. So starting with the lips here, here is what it looks like. My mouth is kind of dry around here. I don't really know why. And then going down to the eyes, it really is such a beautiful formula. I like it a lot. I really like the way they blended. They went super well. I don't know you guys. It just really worked uh, in my opinion. So yeah. You guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you didn't, go ahead and click up that like button for me and subscribe if you want to. If you want to see other videos that I post and when I post them, click the little bell down at the bottom there. Again, my name is Kenzie. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.